This is Dad. He's using an old farm oil cub to replant his corn patch. He planted some about two weeks ago, and then it got cold or cool you know, in the 40s for highs and lows. This is 40s for the lows, and uh, it set into raining. And his, a lot of his corn didn't come up. I guess the ground cooled off too much. So that's what he's doing now is replanting his corn patch. He had some coming up, but it was just too spotty. So this seed here is treated for insects. See it picks up, drops it down, right up here. And it goes down to that little funnel there. And then out of the uh, planter. It's also got a fertilizer hopper on it that you can do the fertilizer in your plant. He's already got fertilizer in it. So he's just replanting the seed, but the fertilizer would come out from here down the chute and outside that little wheel there. And it does an okay job with covering. Sometimes it don't cover all. Oops, sorry. Sometimes it don't cover all the way. Sometimes we'll go back and drive over it to seal it if we're not calling for a lot of rain. Just to help good seed, seed to soil contact. I think he's planting on so he's doing two rows, 24 inches apart, and then skipping four foot, and then two more rows. I think it's 24 inches, maybe 30 inches. Got that little tooth there in the front. We got a real narrow sweep on it. It's just a plow point. What that does, it just makes a furrow big enough for the seed plate and the seed to drop in. That way it reduces the moisture loss of a wide sweep like these back here. But that's basically there just to wipe out the tracks of the tractor. And the reason he's doing the rows like 24 inches apart and then skipping four foot is for access. The picket and all that. Dad's knees is not the best as they used to be. So this is the way you come through, load up a four wheeler full of corn or whatnot. And uh, all that. But. Plus for pollination, last year we done like a he done a four four foot spacing between each row. And while that worked well, while it was drought, you know, lack of rain, didn't have right real good pollination like we'd like to have. So he's doing it a little different this year.
but everybody's got their own way of doing corn and all. There's no right or wrong way per se. He may be using, because we got two different markers on the front there. I think one's 24 inch and one's 36 inch. Anyway, we'll figure that part out. Thought he was going to do a little narrower. But it's hard to believe that these little tractors, you know, 60, 70 years ago, done a bulk of American farming. I mean, they're garden tractors nowadays, but like that one's a 49 model, I believe. In 1950, there's farmers planting big fields with these little tractors. It was long, ruined, grueling days, but. They work, they, if you got a big spot, it takes a while, but for little gardens, they, they work out pretty good. That seed plate looks to be like one every uh, three to four inches. Sometimes, depending on the size of the seed, the plate can pick up multiples in each one. But No sensors on this one. The only sensor there is is an amp meter. That is if your battery's charging. That's all you need to know. No downward pressure gauge. Nothing to tell you if your hopper's running empty. You just look back there and see. 